Hey guys, Peter Lekov here, and in today's video, I'm gonna talk about this so famous Darwin Spiron 16 plus trackpad problem. Since I published all these videos about this laptop, I received a lot of comments regarding this trackpad problem, which I didn't have at the time when I was recording those videos. And I didn't have this problem until a few weeks ago when I experienced the same problem as the other Dell Inspiron 16 Plus users. So I decided to go through all the reviews and discussions that Inspiron 16 Plus users were sharing on uh, Dell's website community and also in other forums. All of them were experiencing the same trackpad problem in terms of lack of response or even barely able to click at anything while using the trackpad. So I decided to contact the Dell technical support and see what they're gonna tell me. And to be honest, they didn't solve the problem either, which isn't nice and it's also frustrating because there are zero announcements or whatsoever or any statement from Dell regarding this particular problem. And while I was going through all these uh, reviews and comments from other Inspiron 16 Plus users, there was a one comment which caught my attention. There was a guy who was sharing his uh, experience with the trackpad and how he thinks that he found the solution to this problem. So I read what he uh, wrote into the comment and I tried on my laptop and miracle guys, my trackpad is fixed. So I decided to show you exactly what I've done and hopefully this is gonna help you to solve your trackpad problem. I can't promise that this will definitely fix your trackpad, but it's not gonna cost you anything if you try to do the same thing that I did. So let's jump straight to my laptop and show you step-by-step step what to do so you can fix your trackpad. So once you get into your laptop, you have to go straight down to the search icon. From there, we're gonna type device manager. We're gonna click on it and we're gonna go to the control panel of device manager. So once we open this window, you'll be looking for the display adapters. All right. So when you click on this little arrow over there, it's going to open those two options is the Intel UHD graphics and Nvidia GeForce RTX 3060 laptop GPU. OK, so we're going to go and click on to the Intel UHD graphics and then with the right button of the mouse we're going to click on it and we're going to disable the device when we disable the device this will change the resolution of the monitor but don't worry about it because later we're going to bring it back to the resolution you already had on your screen so i'm going to click on disable device and this will ask me if i really want to disable it and then i'm going to click yes and once we disable it you can see that resolution change but as i said don't worry about it because we're gonna go back to the intel core graphics and from there i'm gonna click again with the right button of the mouse and this time i'm gonna enable the device and the resolution of the screen is back to where it used to be and once you've done this i'm gonna close it once you've done that you're gonna go and restart the laptop and that's how i fix my track problem after i show you how you can try to fix your trackpad and let's say that this technique doesn't work then there is no other solution well wait a second yeah i think there is one more solution and that's wireless mouse that's right guys if the trackpad can be fixed and if you don't want to return the laptop which is another solution and i mean what's not like this laptop apart this trackpad this machine, it's a full powerhouse and it's really, really powerful, which comes in a very affordable price with a great specs. So that's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did so, please hit that like button and subscribe my channel for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.